The Philippines is being targeted by state-affiliated hacking groups from China, according to the National Intelligence Coordinating Agency. At the hearing of the Senate Committee on Women, Children, Family Relations and Gender Equality on Tuesday, November 26, Panel Chair Senator Risa Montiveros asks National Intelligence Coordinating Agency Deputy Director General Ashley Acedillo to confirm reports that the Philippines is a victim of espionage. Citing reports from international media, Montiveros says a Chinese-sponsored telecommunications hack perpetrated by threat actors called APT-40 and APT-41 recently attacked the United States as well. Asadilio reveals uh, that uh, the hacking groups called Chinese Advanced Persistent Threat or APT groups are indeed targeting the Philippines. With the information that we have, we can confirm that uh, indeed uh, Chinese Advanced Persistent Threat groups are operating or targeting uh, the Philippines, whether government or uh, private sector entities. Uh, we have monitored some of them, Madam Chair, and again in an executive session, if required, uh, we can share some information. According to the official, these hacking groups seek to achieve certain asymmetric advantages without using state resources and providing a convenient, deniable link to such groups. Asadilio explains that these groups are different from the normal hackers because they possess sophisticated skills. They are differentiated from the normal individual hackers or the disorganized or non-sophisticated hackers because of their resources, uh, the personnel that they have, and the sophisticated skills that they possess. So much so that they are believed to be largely uh, state-trained or state-sponsored or state-backed. Hontivero says she and her colleagues will wait for the conduct of an executive session in line with their preparation of a committee report on the issue. The Senate panel ended its probe into illegal activities by Philippine offshore gaming operators on Tuesday.